the kittens and the husband are feeling kind of feisty today. Yeah. He ran away. <laughs> so hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug does not say Avon on the bottom like I expected to do. It is Smile and the Day is Yours. This is another coffee mug from the uh, boxes of coffee mugs that my daughter found. So it is another one that is at least 15 to 20 years old. And actually, I think I remember getting this when I was in junior college, so that would make it closer to 30 years old. So this is a pretty old mug. Today's tea is going to be the Tea Drops Rose Earl Grey. Once again, I haven't put it in there yet. We will now. Yay. If you, hear, it's, if you hear noises and jingling in the background, it's the kittens. They're playing with their toys. They have been in a very, very good mood for the last couple of days, which I don't mind. We've been worried about them. So this little tea drop is just a little different. It's more like a star. It doesn't have the little button in the middle that makes it a flower, so it looks more like a star. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to drop that in so it can dissolve. Oh, she's chunky. And we are getting some of the little flakies on top and our color is changing and she is definitely melting away, taking a little time to melt away. This is weird because I don't recall getting this kind of um, level of flakiness that I'm seeing so I think in the future I'm just going to put them all in a in a bag one of my personal bags because um, I don't like the texture of the loose tea it's not gonna hurt me I know but I don't like the texture of the loose tea when I'm drinking all right I think we're down enough for me to go ahead and give her a sip Does it smell like roses? It's very hot. It's very sweet. Whoa. So I probably put in too much sugar. I'm getting more sugar than anything. Hmm. a little bit of that Earl Grey-ishness to it. I'm going to let it sit. Since it does have tea leaves in it, it should uh, do well with steeping. Uh, do you have ingredients listed anywhere? Yes, you do. In a place that I can't read them. This has organic raw sugar, organic Earl Grey tea, organic black tea, bergamot oil, and organic rose petals. I'm, I'm not, I'm getting the sugar, but I'm not getting much of anything else. It's kind of disappointing that the sugar's at the very top. So maybe one of the next ones I will try without putting sugar in the uh, cup, which is going to be a hard habit to break. At any rate, so today we are doing uh, two, two of my indie brand reviews. One of them is from last year, and then one of them I got this year. And that would be the Zoeva Spice of Life palette and the Just Peachy Cosmetics Juicy Fruit palette. I am wearing them on my eyes today, so I will just go ahead and show you this look. Obviously, the colored stuff is from the Juicy Fruit. The more neutral tones are from the Zoeva. So this is what the Zoeva looks on the inside. We'll start with you. Uh, 
the biggest problem I have with this is the color story. And I think I mentioned this before when I was going through my shop, my stash. Um, I did use it, like I said today, but most of these colors are just too neutral. This one here is looking very red on my camera. It's actually more of an orange. It might be kind of a duochrome, but uh, on my eyes, it comes out more orange than it does red. And the other shades, this and a couple of other shades up here had much more color when we looked at it at its promo pictures and um so that's one of the reasons why we picked it up because it had the roses and the burgundies that's what it looked like it had but honestly this is a reddish brown uh the rest of these are all browns these are you know like cream and a uh more brown cream and this has a bit of a pinky cast, but not nearly as much as I'm seeing in my camera here. And then, like I said, this one's more of an orange and this is another brown. Now, all that said, I'm glad I got to try it because there is another Zoeva palette. I'm waiting for it to get back in stock and that's the IC. And this gave me a chance to try the uh, formula. So let me swatch real quick. And the first row has, I don't like the way this is written. The silver on this brown is very hard to read. So we have a nuance, unlike any other fortuitous moments, balance the contrast and the flavor. So a nuance, unlike any other fortuitous moments, balance the contrast and the flavor, the flavor being on my foam. But there's those colors there. And I'm sure you can see what the issues would be on my skin. So that's the first row. Uh, from what you can see, you can tell the pigmentation is not the issue. They are pigmented. They are very beautiful colors. I'm going to go ahead and grab this next row, which is of the flavor surprises of life favorite discovery variety is the key and share joy so of the flavor surprises of life is that red brown uh, favorite discovery variety is key and share joy i find that funny variety is key but there's not a whole lot of variety in here anyway so here is the second row um the pigmentation is not the problem obviously it is a skin tone problem even the mattes are really really nice the colors come up really decently they just there's only like three colors in here four colors in here that are going to that show up on my eyes at all so that is the issue however the actual formulation of the shadows the actual formula is really nice they're very smooth they're very creamy they do have pigmentation they do have lasting power um they uh i did as usual, I put some on the inner corner of my eye, put one of the shimmers in. The Just Peachy is primarily matte, so I didn't use that on the inner corner. So the one that I used on my inner corner didn't really stand up to my eyes as well as some, but I don't expect too many, um, too many uh, brands, too many palettes to actually stand up to the inner corner. Uh, but it does repair well, and it does seem to stay better once repaired. Uh, so, but the thing is, is I still, it still fades fairly quickly, much more quickly than some of the other brands I use. So this is not, it's not a horrible palette. The color story doesn't work for me. The pigmentation is beautiful. If you're into neutrals, this would be a beautiful palette for you. Uh, the, if you don't have your issues with your eyes, like I do, again, this would be probably the perfect palette for you. Uh, for me, it just doesn't work. I have too many issues with my eyes to have to take this with me and repair my eyes. I had to repair my eyes uh, three or four times today just to get to this point. And, uh, you know, I do my eyes first and then I do the rest of my face. And so this is just not, um, the color story isn't worth that kind of work for me. I'm really hoping the IC will come in because I do like the formulation of this. I do have other uh, 
palettes that work better on my inner corners that I could use with the IC. So I have no problem with that. And like I said, I don't expect too many brands to have that ability to stand up to what goes on with my inner corners. It's, trust me, I don't even know. It just goes poof, and then I have to fight to keep it on. But anyway, uh, it is a really good palette. It is way too neutral for me. Uh, the formula is good. It does work fairly well on my eyes. It is not perfect, obviously, um, but I do think it's worth the money. Zoeva's are like 25 to 35 dollars for these palettes for these these longer what are you 10 10 shade palettes which is a really decent price for these i was just handed a box i will open the box in a little bit at any rate these are really decent palettes and so i think they're worth the price if you are interested in spice of life it is still up there i am waiting for the ic and if it comes up i probably will buy it as long as i have the money at the time i don't think i would rush for it but i would buy it i'm just kind of disappointed it's out of stock right now um, i'm really hoping it comes back it's been out of stock for quite some time and i'm hoping that uh, they did have an email thing, me thing, so I did put that up, and hopefully I will hear from them soon. So overall, I'm probably going to give this, I'm going to give this to my daughter. She's the one that purchased it. I'm going to let her decide what to do with it rather than putting in the Project Beauty Share. But this will be for her, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I got to try it. I, I've been wanting to try the Zoeva. I can cross it off my 2020 list. It's, uh, they have decent formula. It's just this particular palette does not work for me. All right, so the Juicy Fruit. The Juicy Fruit I probably won't keep either for completely different reasons. Uh, this actually was an okay um, support palette for me. The colors are beautiful. Uh, however, there's inconsistencies in this. Uh, for example, this purple looks beautifully purple, comes out more pink on my lids. Um, most of the colors, I don't know if you can tell when you look at the blue, the light blue on my lid, that it's a little bit dusty. To get that dark blue to show up dark, I actually had to mix it with the purple. So there are some issues with the actual pigmentation for me. It's also almost entirely matte. This middle one is almost like a satin. The purple is almost like a satin, but the rest of it is pretty much matte. What do you have back here? They say they have a glitter in here. Maybe that's just for everything because honestly, yeah, I'm not seeing any real glitter. At any rate, the yellow and the orange were actually the big surprises. They work out very well on my eyes. So I was really kind of surprised. I do have some yellows that work on my eyes now. So I love the theme. I do love the box. This is actually raised, and that's really kind of cute. If you put your hand across it, you can feel it. And then the theme inside is fruit. So we have plum acai and dragon fruit now some of these feel very dry plum acai and dragon fruit and as you can see that purple is just a touch on the pinky tone this it does not show up like this on my on my eyes for some reason i don't know maybe my eyes have a weird form weird thing going on where it changes the pH of something. I have no idea. But it does come up a bit more pink than that. But you can also see how kind of dusty the colors are. This is one of the few palettes I've had where what I'm getting on my hand is pretty much what I get on my eyes, unfortunately. Then we have blueberry, blue raz, and melon. Blueberry blue raz and melon and unfortunately that blue does not it, that that blue is in the center of my eyes so you can see the difference and I'm not haven't changed my primer or my concealer or anything that gets everything else to work so the green does show up fairly close to that it is a beautiful color and then we have mandarin banana and apple so there's mandarin, banana, and apple. So 
let's take a little bit of that green because like I said, that green is a really beautiful color. I'm going to put that underneath what I have here. I do have kind of a brown color already in there, but I do want to show you that the green just comes up really, really nicely on the, um, on the eye, around the eye. So there, as you can see, it comes up as a good a good grassy green it's actually a beautiful green and it is actually very unique to my collection because it is i don't think i have anything quite so grassy if that makes sense and of course this eye is completely falling apart why does that not surprise me but there we go So you can see the green is very true to what it is when it is swatched. It is. The blues, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Since they're more matte, I mean, this one does have more of a, of a, it's not a shimmer. It's not really a shimmer. There's not, it's more of a satin, I guess. And um, the issue, I don't know why it doesn't come up as well. We're going to try it with one of my sticks and see if that helps but I haven't tried it with like say uh, wetting a brush because these are mostly matte and you don't do that with mattes okay so with the sponge tip applicator I definitely got more color I might change my mind just based on what happened with the sponge tip applicator here to keep it I am just more of a brush girl, and I would prefer to not have to um, fight to get my colors to show up. See, the red is still showing up, kind of. The red is still not showing up as well as I'd like, as well as it does on there. It's still very kind of dusty and... not very red unfortunately so overall it's an okay palette it's not absolutely horrible I wouldn't say it's absolutely horrible like I said I used it quite a bit as a support palette I didn't mind using it quite a bit as a support palette however um, I don't think I'm gonna be keeping it and I can't remember the price it'll be down below um, for a bright colored palette if you are someone who's new to bright colors this might work for you because you can obviously use a brush to get a lighter covering of the color or use a sponge tip to get a heavier uh, covering of the color and that way you can uh, get used to bright colors if you're not used to having bright colors uh, in your makeup routine personally I like bright colors so I would much rather have my bright colors actually show up without a lot of work I am one of those people who just I just don't want to have to fight my eyeshadow palettes so this one is probably going to go to project this one is, is I shouldn't say probably this one is going to go to project beauty share uh, this one is going to the Zoeva is going back to my daughter um, out of the two I think the Zoeva formula is the better of the two uh, but that doesn't make this bad I've had bad formulas and this is not a bad formula it's just not one of the better formulas and not a formula that really works that well for me personally which sounds like a lot of equivocating but it is not it's not really it might work better on somebody else's skin and they do have people who show off their looks that they make with this so um i mean i've made palettes work that for other people don't work so i'm pretty sure other people can get this to work even though i couldn't get it to work without a lot of fighting so Overall, they're both, you know, this one's pretty good. This one's more okay. Uh, they're not horrible. Uh, this one's worth the price. I can't remember the price of this. 
think it was in the 20s, which is not bad for a nine pan palette, but I'm not positive. I think it was in the 20s. I'd have to look. Uh, if we get into the 30s, I'd have to say, no, it's not worth $30. That's a little bit much for a nine pan palette. Um, that doesn't have the pigmentation that I prefer to have. Anyway, now that I've babbled on, we will you will probably be seeing the opening of this box before you see this video. We're gonna wait on that. But for all that, that's it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe. If you're not yet already, why not? Are you a return person who hasn't subscribed? Just go ahead and subscribe. If you're going to come back, subscribe. And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week. That would be Monday and Thursday. But we do have bonus videos. Like when I open indie brands. Not necessarily when I review, but when I open indie brands. Uh, we're not trying not to do as much of that. But so far, that doesn't seem to be working. We're doing a lot of it anyway. Also, my son opens his My Geek Box every month. And his Geek Box for last month is on its way. It will be here soon. <laughs> the post office is waiting for it. I think it's supposed to arrive, like, the 10th. So you guys should see that one very, very soon. Uh, we also have, we also did have gardening videos for a while. We're not doing that this year, hopefully next year. And if you send anything, you don't have to, but if you do, that also gets opened as a bonus video. If you're interested in any of those, you will have to have that notification bell click because they don't go up on regular upload days. If you're part of my notification squad, well, you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. Probably got no problems going on down there, but you never know. Take a look. It'll only take a minute. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, we'd be sad and disappointed. And sad. And disappointed. And really sad. But you're always welcome back here. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Alrighty, so I'm going to say that the tea leaves have steeped in here, but there is just, I, I don't like, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed the flavor of the very first tea drop that I tried. I don't recall it having um, as much leafiness in it. This has a lot of leaves. So I think in the future, these are all going to go into a baggie just to, because that, it gives it a almost a grittiness. But let's go ahead and give it a sip and see if we've deepened up in flavor. Yeah, we have. I'm definitely getting the Earl Grey. The sweetness is toned down, probably because the tea is kicking in. That's actually pretty good. That's one that I think I would repurchase from their, from their little stash. The Rose Earl Grey. That's an interesting combination. The flavor is really nice. Hmm. That's good. Okay. I'm much happier with it. I just would want to put it in some sort of baggy or, you know, tea bag because of all the leaves everywhere. Leaves everywhere. Alrighty. So that's it for the day. Hope you have a good one. Bye.